Hello guys, in this video I am going to do a simulation of series connection of two bulbs, one of 100 watt and other of 200 watt in a software called Multisim. So first of all, I am going to explain the working of the circuit diagram. Later I will show you how to make a circuit diagram in a software called Multisim. So first of all, let's run the simulation. Let's go online. Here you can see a 100 watt bulb is glowing more brighter. 100 watt bulb is glowing whereas the 200 watt bulb is not glowing in this simulation but in practical the 200 watt bulb glows less brighter than a 100 watt bulb and it is negotiable so here you can see a 200 watt bulb is not glowing whereas the 100 watt bulb was glowing as the power in 200 watt bulb was not sufficient let us measure the resistance of the bulb as you can see here i have connected a separate uh, multimeter for uh, measuring the resistance of 100 watt and 200 watt bulb and the value was uh, very different as you can see here i have calculated the values which are similar to the values i have got in simulation i have got the value of r1 as 264.5 ohms in theoretical uh, calculation where I, and for r2 i got the value as 529 ohm which were exact same as that of i got the values in simulation now coming to the value of current, I got the value of current as I is equals to 289 milliampere. Whereas in theoretical calculation from the formula as I is equals to V by R1, I got the value of current as I is equals to 0 0.29 ampere, which is equals to 289 milliampere. So the bulb which has more power dissipation will glow brighter. Let's see the power dissipation. The power dissipation across 200 watt bulbs is 22.2 triple two watts i have got the values in simulation and the power dissipation across 100 watt bulb is 44.444 watts so the power dissipation across 100 watt bulb is more than a power dissipation across 200 watt bulbs so this is the reason why the 100 watt bulb was glowing more brighter than a 200 watt bulbs as you can see here i have done the cal theoretical calculation of it from a formula as pd1 is equals to i square r1 as i is same and r are different in series so I got the value of PD1 as 22.4 watts which was similar to the value I got in simulation as 22.22 watts. So the power dissipation across 100 watt bulb is 44.48 watts which was in simulation 44.44 watts. Now let's check the value of voltage across both these bulbs. I got the value of voltage across a 200 watt bulb is 76.666 volts whereas I got the value of voltage across 100 watt bulb is 153.332 volts. So as you can see here the voltage across 100 watt bulb is greater than the voltage across the 200 watt bulb. So in series connection the voltage gets divided and currents remain same. As you can see here, I have calculated the value of voltage theoretically and I got the value of voltage across a 200 watt bulb is 76.705 volts and I got the value of voltage across 100 watt bulb is 153.41 volts which are similar to the values I got in simulation. As you can see here, the current values remain same in a series connection and voltage gets divided across both these bulbs. So this is the reason why bulb which has more power dissipation glows more brighter in series connection and the bulb which has more resistance has more power dissipation and voltage across it. Now let's learn how to make the series circuit I have made in a software called Multisim. Just click on component bar on the left side and click on expand groups then select indicator and click on virtual lamps then click on ok and drop the lamp in the workspace by clicking anywhere in the workspace and you can drop multiple objects as you required. On the extreme right you can see there is a power source toolbar select any source from there and drop it on the workspace as you can see i have selected vac you can rotate any object by selecting it and pressing ctrl plus r the object will get rotated and also on the right side you can notice that there are lots of meters available watt meter multimeters ammeters and many more meters are available oscilloscope so as you can see here i have selected two watt meters one multimeter for measuring current two multimeters across two bulbs for measuring voltage across it now coming to connection from positive of vac it is connected to positive of ammeter and from negative of ammeter it is connected to positive of watt meter which is current coil and from negative of watt meter it is connected to first terminal of first bulb and from second terminal of second bulb is connected to first terminal of second bulb and from second terminal of second bulb is connected to positive of the watt meter of current coil and from negative of watt meter of current coil is connected to negative of voltage source 
now for uh, connecting the pressure coil of the watt meter what you have to do is from positive it should be connected to first terminal of bulb and from negative it should be connected to second terminal of load which is bulb and similar connections are done for pressure coil of second watt meter now i have to connect the voltmeter across these bulbs in parallel as voltmeter should be connected in parallel so from positive of the voltmeter which is multimeter it is connected to first terminal of bulb and negative is connected to second terminal of bulb similar connections are done for second multimeter as well in the software you can also change the value of sources and object as per your requirement as you can see here i am changing the value of this vac source to 230 volts 50 hertz and also you can change the value of these bulbs i am selecting the required voltage as 230 volts and required power as 200 watts and for second bulb i am selecting 230 volts and 100 watts so you can change the value of these objects and sources as per your requirement now double click on multimeter and set the values as per your requirement you can select ac dc measurement and ammeter voltmeter or ohmmeter so i am using here uh, it as ammeter so i am selecting ammeter ac then click on ok two times and follow the similar procedure for remaining multimeters so select voltage select ac and click on ok and this one is a specification for voltmeter so this is how the connections are done and also you can see here I am uh, also for measuring resistance I am uh, connecting a bulb separately to a ohm meter for measuring the resistance of 100 watt and 200 watt bulbs and set the requirement as I have shown you earlier. So hope you have found this video very useful and thanks for watching this video guys please hit the like button don't forget to subscribe to my channel electrical infinity and share the video with your friends who are doing electrical engineering so hit the subscribe button to learn electrical infinite thanks for watching this video